wind beams in. Those are two Boise Cascade LVL 2.1 E's. They're the 12 inch. And we actually repurposed the old true rough sawn 2x8s for our lower end beam down there. And uh, reason being is because it spans the whole distance and uh, I just think that it's gonna work out a little better once it's all said and done and you'll see why in the future. framing for the roofing done so you can kind of see what's going on here behind me it's happening so I'm gonna get you spun around and you can check her out yourself okay now that you're spun around if you didn't get it yet this is a 22 by 22 roof deck I'm on top of a garage right now we actually removed the roof from an old carriage house and installed these wonderful Boise Cascade truss joists, the AJS's, and a structural rim board, that green thing right there. And we went ahead and erected two roofs on top of it. Two roofs, you might ask? Well, here, I'll show you what I mean. So, look on up there. It's gonna be open in the middle, just like that. Nope. And yeah, so we got our facial boards on, we got our rafters in, and we are ready to move on to the next stage which would be installing sheeting up on these guys here and then papering it in, installing the underlayment. That's going to keep us dry in here for the most part with the exception of this thing right here in the middle. And then we should make any framing adjustments that we're going to make to it from the inside at that point. And then we have the wonderful task of installing an EPDM a liner in these joist bays to capture any wind driven rain or rain that comes down through here snow and stuff like that so after we get the liner installed we're going to install decking and then when the decking is installed we are going to start working on this guy right here which is going to be a task of its own but it is going to be sweet so this is going to be a trap door this is our stair access right here or stairwell so she's about four foot wide and their stairs are going to run right down here it's going to hit a landing and it's going to bang to the left this is going to be a trap door it's going to be on gas struts the gas struts are going to be controlled by a switch you're going to hit a switch from the inside and she's going to pop up up here what i'm still kind of up in the air about about that whole scenario is whether or not i'm going to put a switch up here to lift it i think that's a good idea so that way you can set this door down and have full range and access to everything up here. On that door, it is going to be waterproof and it is going to have a railing. The railing is going to kind of be sideways like this when it's closed. So when it opens, you have a railing coming up. So I thought that would be super duper cool. And uh, it's going to really, you know, this job being unique as it is, I think it's going to make it a lot more unique. So I am... Uh, going to step off here for the day and I'm gonna give you guys a quick view of what she looks like from the ground and uh, I'm gonna go home and work some more so